These are the members of the alkane homologa series. So these are successive members. And if you look at the members, remember the properties of the homologa series. So if you look at the members, so this is CH4, CH4, CH3, CH3. CH3, CH3, then CH3, CH3, CH2. We're adding a CH2 here. So we add a CH2. We have added a CH2. We have added a CH2. If you look at this one here, we have added a CH2 to the previous one, to propane. So if you add a CH2 to propane, you end up with butane. So you see that each member, for each member, you're adding a CH2. In this case, it's a bit less obvious, but if you kind of do, if you kind of do a maths, so CH4, let's say it's possible to add these. So CH2, you end up with C2H6, okay, kind of something like this. So that's the second member. So that's the first member. That's the second member of the alkane. Let's add so C3H8. You see, that's the third member. You add CH2, C4H10. You see, that's the fourth member. So remember, we were saying that uh, you add CH2 to successive members. So that's what that's what it is okay so what we can notice about alkanes so first thing for each member for each successive member you add a ch2 okay that's first thing you uh, you notice so yeah so that's the first one and the second thing we notice is that they can be represented by a general formula. Let's see what that means. So we have so CH4. So here, number of carbon is 1. So CNH2N plus 2. That's the general formula for alkane. So in this case, N is equal to 1. Therefore, you end up with C H two one plus two. Do the math. So two times one two plus two four. So that's the first member. Second member would be C two H two times two plus two. So that's C two H six. Second member. Third member. Using this general formula, you can find any member. So C3H2 times 3 plus 2. So that gives you C3H8. Let's say you want to find the 10th member. C10H2 times 10 plus 2. C10H2. 22. So no need to go and draw 10 carbons to find how many hydrogen will fit in. The general formula will tell you how many hydrogen will fit in the formula. Okay, so you see the general formula can be used to predict the formula of any member of the homologous series. So let's see this. So they can be represented by the general formula. You have to know this very important so for alkanes that's for alkanes